Properties of Exponents, Part 3, Properties Involving Zero and Negative Exponents. Here are the main concepts we've been working through in this unit. We're going to be looking at the last two in this video. Properties of Negative Exponents. x to the third over x to the fifth can be expanded to be written as such. So we can see we have three pairs of x's, top and bottom, that will eliminate, leaving us with 1 over x squared. We can write this as x to the negative 2. Another way of looking at this would be x to the third times x to the negative fifth. And we're going to add the exponents in this case and get x to the negative 2. The negative exponent can be applied to products and quotients to rewrite terms for simplification. That's the main point. We, we use this rule so we can manipulate terms and simplify them. Note that x can't be equal to 0. Example 9, simplify. So write these down and try them out on your own. Pause the video and then check your answer. <laughs> Simplifying in this case means get rid of that negative exponent. So basically, if we take the reciprocal of these terms, we'll remove the negative. 1 over 4 to the negative 2 is the same as 4 to the positive 2, which is 16. We can also use the power of a power rule and distribute the negative 2 on, on part d into the exponents and all the bases, as I've done here. Then, to make it positive, we replace the numerator with a denominator and vice versa, taking the reciprocal. Properties of zero exponents. We're going to take a look at x to the fourth over x to the fourth in two different ways. The first one we can think of the x to the fourth in the denominator as a negative exponent. And when we add the exponents, we get 0. So x to the 0 would be equal to 1. In the second way, we can see the factors all expanded, and all the x's in the numerators were, are going to cancel with all the x's in the denominator, which will give us 1. When simplifying terms by adding or subtracting with a resulting 0 exponent, then the term is 1. Note that x cannot be equal to 0 because that would be divided by 0. So let's take a look at example 10, simplify, pause. So 5 to the third times 5 to the negative 3 is 5 to the 0 or 1. 3 fourths to the 0 is 1. Anything raised to the zero is one, except for zero. Here are the notes for this section.